Hey everyone. Um, if you have prayer, let me know. I'll pray for you. I'm sharing God Loves Her, 365 Devotions for Women by Women, Our Daily Bread. Grace, say hi, Grace. Can't really see you. Lighting's kind of bad over here. Maybe I should sit in a different spot. Kind of can't get the lighting over there. Come here, Grace. Oh, look at her. Grace. <laughs> All right, Scar Stories, John 20, 24 through 29. See my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe, John twenty twenty seven. The butterfly flitted in and out of my mother's panda face pansies. As a child, I longed to catch it. I raced from our backyard into our kitchen and grabbed a glass jar, but on my hasty return, I tripped and hit the concrete patio hard. The jar smashed under my wrist and left an ugly slash that would require 18 stitches to close. Today the scar crawls like a caterpillar across my wrist, telling the story of both wounding and healing. When Jesus appeared to the disciples after his death, he brought his scars. John reports Thomas wanting to see the nail marks in his hands, and Jesus inviting Thomas to put your finger here, see my hands. Um, sorry, I lost my place. Reach out your hand and put it into my side, John 20, 25, 27. In order to demonstrate he was the same Jesus, he rose from the dead with the scars of his suffering still visible. The scars of Jesus prove him to be the Savior and tell the story of our salvation. The pierced marks through his hands and feet and the hollow in his side reveal a story of pain inflicted, endeared and then healed for us. He did it so that we might be restored to him and made whole. Have you ever considered the story told by Christ's scars by Elisa? I don't know why that makes me think of um, when we had to put Dean down. And I don't know if you haven't heard that song. Uh, some about the only scars you'll have anymore are the ones in the one, um, are in the arms of the one holding you. And we were getting ready to go put Deem down, our husky we had, and that song came on, and I just started, like, <laughs> bawling, but that's what it made me think of. All right, I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Monday, and God bless.